Hey, Lise Pickett here with The Urban Harvest, and today I've got a special treat for you guys. I am actually on vacation in Hawaii with my family, and I found this amazing farm in our travels. This is Sean, and he is with Full Circle Farm, and he is going to give you a tour about um, some of the things he teaches and grows here and all sorts of good stuff. So Hey, I'm Sean Anderson and this is Full Circle Farm and in the last eight years we've been converting it from horse ranch into regenerative, biodynamic, permaculture, organic, all the good stuff, Wonderland Farm. So let me show you our garden and how we use permaculture to make awesome soil. This field that we're in right now used to be a horse arena. This is where the people that used to live here would ride their horses around. And it was back filled in with this sort of sandy gravel material that you can see in our, because of our fire pit, it's a nice place to see what it used to look like. It's just sort of this hard, sandy gravel, excellent for riding horses on, not really ideal for growing food in, basically a, a parking lot. Uh, but it does have great drainage. Um, so we started using permaculture sheet mulching to build on top of this and I'll show you what the soil looks like. For the last eight years we've been using a permaculture practice called sheet mulching which basically means we come in and we just layer tons of material month after month, compost, mulch, manure, compost, mulch, manure, layer after layer after layer and after doing that I'll show you, oh yeah, we got just a nice rich soil here that's nice and deep. I'll dig down in here and it just is so nice and it goes down. This is all on top of that sandy gravel. And this is our soil now. That's beautiful. We hardly have to water as much anymore. That's that's why we do it. It's this is regenerative agriculture. So Year after year, the inputs go down. We need less water, less fertilizer, etc. And we have more biodiversity, more health, happier plants, uh, more growth. So this is happy soil. Mm -hmm. This is our uh, one of our turmeric patches. So we've got a couple different varieties of turmeric in Hawaiians called olena. And uh, I love olena. It's one of my favorite plants. And there's a little farmer secret that not everyone knows about, but you can pinch off this little part of the flower here and pinch that out and I'll let you, you eat it. The whole flower? Yeah, you can eat the whole thing. I'll, it's mm -hmm. delicious. Mm, it's like turmeric essence honey sauce. Yes, it's like honey almost. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Isn't that so good? That's so good. So if you're growing turmeric, you can pinch out that little flower. It's a delicate, little tasty little Oh tree. man. And does it slow down the um, process for the root development or anything like that? that you've it noticed? might. I only ever take one or two usually. I yeah. mean, you probably don't want to do all of them, but um, a few here and there is probably okay for a little. Save some for the gardener, bees and some tree. for you. Some for the bees and some for you. Yeah. Oh man. This is our compost area. This is where we process uh, about a thousand pounds of produce scraps every week that we pick up from restaurants and supermarkets. I don't like to call it produce waste because there's really no such thing as waste. Trash is waste. This is a food resource. So we will dump out our food scraps here into this pile and we use a lasagna method where we, we take mulch that we get dropped off by tree trimmers and we do a layer of mulch covered by a layer of food waste, then layer of mulch, food waste, mulch, food waste, mulch, and uh, then we water it and cover it with a tarp and this pile is the one I'm adding to right now so this one I'm still adding to and still breaking down. After about four to six weeks of adding I'll stop adding to it, push it over here and now it's in its turning phase so this one's getting turned 
uh, about once a week, maybe every other week. And this one's really hot. I'll dig down in here and maybe you'll see some steam come up. Oh, it's hot. You see some steam coming up there? That's nice and hot and it's doing its thing. We can see the actinomites in there and all kinds of good stuff going. And so this is doing its job. Still not fully broken down. Again, another four to six weeks of turning and aerating and watering. And then we get to our pretty much finished finished compost pile here and this is the beautiful the gold that we go for here and it smells good it smells like the forest floor like it should mm -hmm. and this is a piece that I always like to point out because we're getting stuff from supermarkets and things like that we end up with lots of trash and this is an image I just love to demonstrate this is this could be the 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 insignia for full circle farm of the why we do things and I always like to tell people the stuff that nature makes magically turns back into nature the stuff that we make and how ironic is it that it says organic there doesn't this is waste the food scraps are a resource this is the trash this is the stuff we need to be working on getting rid of and thinking rethinking how we do this part of it certainly this could be compostable maybe edible or make it more durable and take it off in the supermarket and reuse it over and over again because it made it all the way through each of those phases everything else turned into beautiful soil and this remains this is the part that ends up in the ocean and unfortunately all over my farm so um, this is why I do what I do you were telling me that you're also incorporating non-food and non-agricultural related cyclical cycles into That's the right. farm yeah we've got a uh, blacksmith on site that will um, we collect up scrap metal, uh, broken tools, turning it into machetes and knives and trying to keep that art alive and educate. Uh, we're developing a certified kitchen on the farm so that we can take the products that we grow here and bring them full circle. We've got uh, chickens, orchards, compost piles, worm bins, all different ways that we can kind of, we're trying to close that loop and uh, really serve that purpose for our community. We have so much food waste and so much waste of all kinds of stuff that we're, we're open to learning all kinds of ways that we can close the loop and bring things full circle. Just a little bit closer to home, I love it. I hope you found this as interesting as I did. I was so excited when I found the Circle Farm and I'm so glad that Sean took the time to give us a tour and talk about what he does here. It's amazing that he is trying to close the loop like he is and how many connections and how much community has formed in support of what he's trying to do here. It's pretty amazing stuff. I have put a link um, to contact him and find out more about him and his farm and what he's doing down below, so make sure to check that out. Uh, and if you liked this or want to see more uh, along these lines where we're looking at different farms and different models, uh, make sure to leave me a comment below just so I know um, if this has been helpful or interesting for you all. And I look forward to sharing more with you next week. What's for Layla to eat? Yeah, yes, I'm Eat your flour. Yummy. That's turmeric flour. It's yummy. What do you think? Try it. Mom. <laughs> Sweet? <laughs> <laughs> no go.